What's up, everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob, rocking my Mitch Marner. Hopefully, you guys can see that Centennial Classic jersey. They actually won this game. It was on New Year's Day. Um, this is a limited jersey. It's not going to be something they wear regularly, but I figured. Well, my wife picked it up for me as a Christmas present. I'm a huge Leaf fan, as you probably could tell from my set of Leaf glasses and decanter. Got something different for you guys today. It's a cognac. It's called, well, I think it's called Diffusini. Hopefully the camera picks that up. All right, very heavy top. Uh, as you can see, it's got their trademark lion carved into the top. It comes in an orange box, but um, my brother and I purchased a bottle each of this when we were in the U.S. Or sorry, when my other brother was in the U.S. a few years back. He didn't open it until recently. I opened mine a while back and consumed it long ago. Uh, really, really good stuff. The orange box is really nice, but he didn't keep his and I didn't keep mine, so unfortunately I can't show that off right now, but this XO, um, very underrated, $100 American. It's still $100 American in Florida at uh, Total Wine. I checked recently. It's not available in Ontario, it never has been, but these are types of things that are quiet gems. Uh, there was a guy on YouTube not too long ago, I, I know he stopped now, but he used to do strictly um, cognacs, and he gave this a really, really high rating. I made sure I tried a few cognacs recently because sometimes your, your palate for various spirits change as time progresses. Cognac used to be my go-to drink probably about 10 years ago. Uh, that's changed since, since then. Obviously my go-to is scotch, but this is really, really good stuff. So I'm gonna nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. Okay, it's got the common aged cognac type smells to it. You get your plums, your figs, a little bit of tobacco, a little bit of leather, You get that grape, like almost jammy type smell. And there's some black licorice here as well on the nose. Actually quite a bit of black licorice. I think I said plums, but you're definitely getting plums. Maybe even like a cherry compote type smell. Okay, it's dark in color. Um, it doesn't say anywhere on the box or bottle that color is added, but I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say an Exo Cognac, probably unlikely that they add color, but I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Really, really nice nose, okay? Bottled at 40% ABV. And that stands for alcohol by volume. Sometimes I tend to make the mistake of saying abbreviation. It's, it's an abbreviation ABV, but it's not, um, abbreviation doesn't apply to the bottle at all. 40% ABV is an abbreviation for alcohol by volume. Okay, so um, I guess sometimes when the camera's on, <laughs> my uh, ability to articulate things goes out the window and slips of the tongue happen like that quite often. Okay, I'm gonna taste it and actually explain what I taste. It's sweet upon entry. Super sweet, lingering. It's got that black licorice that kind of mellows out the sweetness near the end. 
It's fruity, it's got caramel. The taste of caramel is actually pretty prevalent. Um, one more sip. Grape jam, figs, some plum. We're dark fruit here, completely dark fruit. Really, really good stuff. My only issue with this is that it's bottled at 40%. And for whatever reason, as smooth as cognacs can be, I feel like they, the 40% seems a little stronger on a cognac than it will on an aged scotch for whatever reason. But this is $100 US. In the US, you can buy maybe Hennessy XO for about, I wanna say $180, anywhere from maybe $150 to $200 American, depending on where you are in the US. In Canada, Hennessy XO is $280. So it's a lot more expensive. An XO doesn't have to be aged any longer than seven years. So the minimum in this bottle is seven years old, but the maximum could be a lot higher. It, they tend to call it an extra if it's, I believe, 25 years or older, but I could be wrong about that. I know that, um, actually there probably could be a lot younger cognac in an extra, but most of the extras have at least 25 year old uh, cognac in it. That doesn't mean that this doesn't have old cognac in it. There's probably some 20 year old cognac in there. All right, it's a blend of ages. So there's more well-aged cognac in there, but it can be as low as seven years old, which is kind of upsetting when you think about how much you're paying. But we've talked a little bit about aging and in the different regions that, they, that uh, spirits age in, hotter climates like France um, tend to age quicker. So that's why they can get away with a seven year old cognac and call it an XO and it'd be incredible. Okay, so this is a really, really good cognac. Uh, compared to other cognacs I've had, this is definitely an A for me. I think it's better than Hennessy XO. So if you've tried Hennessy XO and really like it, I highly recommend picking this up for a lot less. 100 bucks US, I don't think you can go wrong. Um, in my opinion, it's better than the Hennessy XO. I've tried Remy XO, I've tried um, Cobassier XO, and I, I would probably pick this over those three for sure. Okay, so 100 bucks, really, really good stuff. I wanna quickly share with you what I went and picked up today because there's only about, <clears throat> so the Highland Park, 21 year old. There's only about, I wanna say less than 15 of these left in the province. So left, less than 15 of these left in Ontario at all LCBO locations. I think Ottawa has nine of them at one location. And there's a few Toronto locations that have a few more, but um, maybe a less than 20. I don't think there's more than 20 to be honest with you. I recently found out that Highland Park 21 year old will no longer be uh, made. That's this version, the the one that's bottled at 47.5% alcohol by volume. I picked it up because of two things. I'm hoping I can pick up a sample of it to do the review, but I really do think, and I know I've, I, I had a conversation with another YouTuber, uh, from malt reviews, I'm not sure if it was Mike or Narvi, but we discussed the value of this going up. It's expensive in Ontario, it's $350 Canadian. That would probably, you could probably get it for 150 in the US, which is less than half price, but it's hard to come by in the US. There's not many left. I checked total wine, it was nowhere to be found. I checked a few other locations, couldn't find it there either. In the UK, there is none on um, Masters of Malt or the Whiskey Exchange. So it's running out globally. 
it's not going to be made anymore and it's a 21 year old scotch from a very highly touted company Highland Park so I personally think the price is going to go up I could be wrong the good thing about the LCBO which a lot of people don't know about that watch my reviews is that if it doesn't go up I can bring this back to the LCBO and get every dollar I paid for it back they will match my my uh, purchase dollar for dollar without the receipt that's the one benefit we have to return to buying from the LCBO because anything we buy we can return I paid 350 I'll get 350 back and I can use that towards another bottle I don't get the cash back I get a gift card but that's just as good because we can't buy liquor from anywhere else while in Ontario so I think it's a good investment for me I'd like to hear what you guys have to think you guys can comment below uh, I'm on whisk I'm on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook on Instagram I'm at whiskey in the six on Twitter I'm at whiskey underscore in underscore the underscore six and on Facebook I'm Rob reviews I want to thank you guys all for subscribing if you haven't already you like this video you can subscribe below you can also add me on any of the other streams of social media that I have cheers guys